Hey there! In today's demo, we'll be covering half drop pattern repeats. The image that we're using for the half drop demo is a gouache painting on blue colored paper. The original artwork goes directly off to the edge of the paper, so either it was painted on a larger piece and cut down, or the artist decided to paint directly up to the edge of the paper. To begin the process of taking this artwork and laying it out into a half drop repeat, I'm going to select All or Command A. Another way would be to use a rectangle marquee tool to select around the parameter of the artwork. With the artwork selected, I'm going to pull guides out from the rulers. Using the Move tool over top of the rulers allows you to pull a guide directly into the canvas. The guides should snap to the edge of the selection. If your guides are not snapping to your selections, check your settings under View, Snap, make sure that's selected, and Snap to all the areas that you'd like them to snap to. And I'll drag my final guide right to the middle of the artwork. I've dragged guides around the perimeter of the artwork and also one that goes horizontally. We're going to extend our canvas out by going to Image, Canvas Size. We're going to move the anchor point, which is the center of the image, off to the left, which will allow us to add any new space to the right of the original unit. We're going to change the width from inches to percent and add 200% to the width of this artwork, adding any new space to the right of the image. We'll take the artwork on the left side of the canvas, select it, and then copy it, moving it over to the right side of the canvas. I'm going to copy this by going to Edit, Copy, or Command C, and Command V, which is the same as Edit, Paste. With this particular half drop unit, in the adjacent column, the start of this artwork will begin halfway down. I'm going to duplicate this artwork again by going to Edit, Paste, Command V. And I'll be moving the bottom half of this artwork halfway up the overall height. With the images placed exactly where they need to be, I'm going to flatten this image by going to Layer, Flatten. Anything that's happening on the left-hand side of the artwork is also happening on the right. If I took the bottom left corner of this particular artwork and just identified it with a red dot, that same location would be identical to where the red dot is in the second column over. Any motif that goes over from one column to the next should also be on the diagonal. In this case, to make it more accurate, I'm going to make a selection on the bottom right. Now notice I have no layers. And I'm holding Option on my keyboard. With the Move tool and holding Option, it allows you to pull a duplicate out without making a new layer. I'm also using the guides that I've laid down as a place to snap precisely to the artwork. By taking the left side of the motif that crosses over between the half drop column 1 and half drop column 2, I'm going to move that half of the motif to the top right side of the second column. With the artwork composition, laid out in a half drop repeat, we'll be spending our time seaming the artwork vertically between column 1 and column 2 
but will also be seaming the artwork where it repeats from top to bottom. With these two lines seamed together, we would also be seaming, and I'll add a different color for context. If those areas are seamed together, we would also be seaming these lines together. So they're the, exactly the same information, just in a different location. If I wanted, I could color reduce this artwork first. It might be easier for me to extract out the drawings from the artwork to composite and fill in the gaps. Or I can just move forward and try to mimic the drawing style of each flower, which will start to seam the artwork together. Moving forward, I'm going to be fast forwarding through a lot of the editing. Most of the tools I'll be using will be the pencil tool and I'll be using the eyedropper to select colors from the artwork as I work through the editing. I'm going to duplicate part of the image from the left column to the second column on the top right hand side. Holding option with my move tool, now mind you, I have no layers on as everything's been flattened. I'm going to offset some of my edits to this right side. I'm also going to do that to the left column on the top right side where holding option with the move tool allows me to move over some of those edits. I'm going to deselect. Because there are two half drop repeat columns in this image, what ends up happening is that we are creating a straight repeat from two half drop repeat units. I'm going to duplicate some of the changes that I've made to the right column into the left column. I'll do this by selecting the entire second column and while on the move tool I'm going to hold option and duplicate the content to the left hand side which I'll be dropping that side down half of the overall height. My problem area right now which I'll offset the entire area to fix is the space between the top and bottom of the repeat unit. I'm going to select everything in my artwork by going to Command A or Select All and I'm going to offset this artwork horizontally to the left.
which means I'm moving my problem area to a location where I can really focus in on making the repairs of that artwork. Once I'm done, I'm going to offset that diagonally to take care of some of the other areas that are problematic, which is happening here to here. With the seaming repairs executed on the right-hand column, I'm going to select the right-hand side and duplicate the information to the left-hand column. Before I do that, I'm going to flatten my layers and hold Option as I move a duplicate into the first column. While holding Option, I'll let go of the Click button, which will drop down my image. If I click on the button a second time, I can pull a duplicate from the exact location of where I just dropped the first image at. I'm going to drag this one to the upper half of that first column. I'm going to color reduce this artwork by going to Image, Index Color. I'm going to turn the dither from Diffusion to None, making sure transparency is not checked, that Forced says None, and I'm using the lowest number of colors that still maintains the integrity of the artwork. I have 12 spot colors in this artwork. I'd like to combine some of the swatches together to reduce the colors down even further. I'll do that by opening up the color table and clicking on the color swatch. I'll then copy the hex code from that color and paste it into an adjacent color that might share the same color space. Click OK. Go back to image mode RGB, image mode index. We have exactly eight colors in this artwork. Uh, this will allow me now to maybe go back in and clean up some areas, or maybe before I do any cleaning, I'll use a filter in RGB mode. So image mode RGB, I'll go to filter noise, dust and scratches. I'll make sure my radius is set to one, maybe even two, depending on how much I want to clean up the schmutz in the artwork. I think two looks good. I'll back up, make it an index file again. This time around, I'll just assign it eight colors. And uh, then I'll start recoloring some of the, the spaces that are in here. For example, if I select everything with my magic wand, with anti-alias off, when contiguous not checked, if I select this background area, I'll be able to go in and fill in some of the colors in the artwork uh, a little faster. I don't think this artwork necessarily cares if I'm coloring in the lines or not.
Now that I've recomposed some of the color placements on the half drop unit on the right side of this image, I'm going to duplicate it by selecting it and moving the duplicate while I hold Option to make a duplicate that I'll drop down halfway down the column. I'll do that a second time by holding Option and moving that up the column. There's a couple areas right in the middle that I'd like to address for color. Once again, select everything that's in the background and then paint into some of the areas in the artwork. Anything that I fixed up in the middle, deselect, will be offset diagonally. For example, this area in the middle, I'm going to move up to the upper left hand corner by holding Option and moving a duplicate to that space. You can see I've moved some of that purple color into that top left corner. I'm going to do that all around the space. So I'll be moving this unit to the bottom left. So I'm moving this diagonally. And same thing for this space. I'll be moving that diagonally to the bottom right corner. And same thing with the space here. I'll be moving that to this corner. I'm looking at the composition and the fluidity of all the motifs. Does my eye start and stop at specific areas in the artwork? Is it distracting? If so, what would I do to improve the artwork? If I take a look at the unit on the left side, this is a repeat unit that is designed to exist in half drop. By adding a second column to the right, this ends up making the artwork a straight repeat. Half drop repeat patterns laid out as a straight repeat unit are most suitable for screen printing, black printing, digital printing, stencil printing, jacquard weaving, jacquard knitting, or embossing rollers or plates to produce textural materials. In a digital landscape, straight repeat patterns are often used for texture mapping within and on 3D renderings for interior design, architectural models, the gaming industry, or graphic design to name a few industries.